Rachel Ray was singing. Good morning. Chimpanzees. Chapter 6. A troop from a different area has wandered into the territory inhabited by the chimpanzees I've been observing. The dominant, who I have named Hercules, has begun a violent display. The invading male is responding with his own display of aggression. This is a brutal struggle over territorial rights, and the dominant males have gone beyond their usual display. Hercules is picking up a stick and using it as a weapon against the invading male. The use of weapons has always been thought to be strictly a human trait. It looks like two other chimps are also starting to fight. Now the members of both troops are beginning to display violently. Hercules seems to have injured the opposing male. The other troop is, is fleeing from Hercules. After battles like these, how people can keep chimpanzees in captivity and dress them in clothes is beyond comprehension. <laughs> Morning, Lakalea. Habibu. Morning, Memsab. Well, with you around here, I don't need a mirror to know what I look like. I give you coffee, but you should get sleep instead. Oh, I know, I know, but I need coffee and uh, plenty of it. I've got to go back right away. Hercules is new dominant male. It's incredible. Memsab Linda. Hmm? Telegram come for you. Oh, no, not another one. Get from Wildlife Association again. Oh, can't we pretend we didn't get it? Say they want you come to USA. Hmm. Oh, how I wish I were rich and didn't need their money. But I have to go. Take my picture, Amy. What? You want me to hold my pipe? All right. Now take the picture. Sometimes I wish I never taught her how to use the language. <laughs> now what? Now that's a sign for Amy. Mm hmm And that's rape. Oh, you're going to show me how to hold a pipe. All right. Show me. Hey, you con artist, <laughs> come here. Amy. Amy, come here. <laughs> 
that little rat. She'll do anything for a smoker. Now you watch, <laughs> because even though she's the one with the pipe, I'm the one with the PhD. Amy, smoking not good for you. Smoking make you sick. Give me the pipe. Uh, no, uh, smoking not good for rape either. But, uh, no, Amy, don't, don't break it. No, don't break it now. Don't break it. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you see, she loves me. And uh, she's a very logical thinker, so if smoking is bad for her, well, then smoking must be bad for me. So, she broke my favorite pipe. <laughs> now, does anyone know what the, uh, the language that Amy and I were speaking is called? Sign language. Sign language, that's right. Now, it's also called Amaslan. Can you say that? Amaslan. Right. It stands for American Sign Language for the Deaf, and nearly two million people speak it in this country. Now, the chimps, whose arms and fingers are a little bit different, they can't make all those signs, so, so they use a variation of it called chimpies. Why can't they talk with their voices? Well, because chimpanzees don't have vocal cords that will let them do that. Come here. But with sign language, they can, uh, they can tell jokes, they can fib, which they're very good at, good punished for, and they can ask and answer questions, and they can tell you what they're thinking and feeling. Well, just pretty much like you and me. <laughs> now, should we go and take a look at some of the other chimps? Come on. Okay, come on, gather around so you can all see. Get real close now. That's Wu, our resident foxy lady, and her little girl, Jill. One of the things we're trying to find out here is whether Wu will teach Jill sign language. Oh, 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 look, 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 look at Wu. She's, she's putting on lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> See that? A few years ago, scientists thought only people could recognize themselves in a mirror. But Wu knows. Does she think she's a person? No, no, no. She knows she's a chimp. And here he is, Solomon, named after the wise king. And he is very wise. And he definitely is the king around here. Don't let a small size fool you. He's very strong and as brave as a gorilla. You want to know what his favorite pastime is? Hmm? To be tickled. <laughs> You know, some people say, so you can teach chimps words, huh? Big deal. It's being able to make sentences that count. And they're right. This chart shows how many words Wu knows. And here you can see that uh, Solomon knows a few more words than his girlfriend Wu, a little over 150. And this is Amy's chart. Now, does anyone know how many words it takes a human being to carry on almost any conversation? A million? No, not quite. Only about a thousand. And Amy can sign over 300. And she understands many, many more. In fact, yesterday she saw a wedding ring for the first time and she didn't have a sign for it. And you could just see her wheels turning. And then she came up with two signs. And she did finger bracelet. And that's really what a ring is, isn't it? Okay, I've got some books outside on sign language. Why don't you all go out and see if you can learn a sentence, okay? Uh, Mrs. Bauer, excuse me. Yes? Um, how long has this child been deaf? Oh, um, since birth. Is he a student in your class? No. No, he's my son. His name is Kevin. The real reason that I organized this field trip was so I could see the methods that you use to teach sign language to your chimpanzees. You see, Kevin's never been able to learn. He resists, and I, I don't know why. He lives in such silence. Come on. Oh, he's looking at Amy. Children love chimps. You know, Mrs. Bauer, I've often thought that deaf children who have trouble learning to sign might respond better to chimps than to people. Would you mind if Kevin played with Amy a little while? Um, no. 
If you think it's all right. Oh, sure, sure. Amy? Come on, come on. Amy? Amy? This is Kevin. I had to make up a sign for Kevin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take his hand. What Amy's doing now is showing him the sign for I'm Amy. Well, why would she want to teach him? Well, um, she expects everyone to speak her language, and then if they don't, she wants to teach them. It's incredible that a chimp can reason like that. <laughs> right now, she's, uh, she's asking Kevin to tickle her. She's saying... Kevin respond like this to anyone? This is wonderful. <laughs> he was signing. I don't believe it. I, I didn't think anyone would ever be able to reach him. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing to be afraid of. No one wants to hurt you here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I got some cantaloupe for you. Come on. Come on. It's good. Gotta eat something. Food. Food. Come on. All people aren't alike, Quake. Here you go. Mm. Walt, it's good to see you. You look terrific. Compared to that poor guy in there? Oh, Quake. What's wrong with him, Ray? What was the of that poor fellow? Well, the university got him from a carnival a couple of months ago. He was so good at riding motorcycles that his owner would hold challenge races against people. Let me show you something. He got a lot of money for it. Quake got locked in a box. He was only let out to perform and then was beaten if he didn't win. They even pulled his teeth out so he couldn't fight back. Sometimes I wonder if we should have just left them in the jungle. The mortality rate is higher there than it is here. But at least there they have a fighting chance. Walt. There's some old friends that would love to see you. Why don't we get some food and take them to the park? OK. 
Okay, go play. Go play. Go on. You've done a good job with the break. Still courting Wu, I see. Yeah. But Wu has lost her heart to a dream chimp. She saw him on Wild Kingdom swinging from tree to tree. <laughs> it was so sad. The other night, in the middle of the night, I saw her at the TV switching channel to channel trying to find him. <laughs> Something wrong, Walt? The university has been given a $3 million grant for cancer research. It goes into effect in two weeks. And? Dean Anderson called me in. He wanted me to... He wanted me to tell you about it. I fought with him, Rafe. I've been fighting with him for three days. The university gets 56% of its salaries from government grants. Good point, Walt. The government was going to deny the grant. They said that the radiation it used on cancer patients was too dangerous for humans. Then Anderson came up with the idea of injecting chimps with cancer cells and doing the experiments with them. The grant was approved, Rafe. He wants your chimps transferred to the medical school by next week. The fact that your chimps could communicate, tell the experimenters what they feel, that was the deciding factor. Rafe. Come in. I can't let you take my chimps. They're the university's chimps. I raised them in my home. To take them out of there and put them in cages for experiments that could kill them, but it just... It's for the greater good, Rafe. Would you dissect a human being for the greater good? You can't compare the life of a human being with the life of a monkey. They're not monkeys. And they're not human. And they're not guinea pigs. They're thinking, feeling, sensitive animals. And they're as afraid of death as we are. Are you going to be in the lab looking into their eyes when they're injected with live cancer cells? Dean Anderson, please don't let this happen. Rafe, I understand your attachment to these chimps. They're cute, lovable animals. You don't... They think. They can ask questions. They can ask, why do you want to kill me? Now, who's going to answer them? What are you going to say? Rafe, I'm not a cruel man. But you don't care. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. For your grant. <laughs>
this. Eighty-six dollars a month to the, uh, the cot tribe. Fish. Fish. Would you gentlemen mind terribly if either I came up there with you or all of you came down here with me? Pardon me? Well, you see, with me sitting down here and all of you up there, it's rather like a peasant appearing before royalty. I'll bring your chair up here, Miss Davenport. No, no, thanks. I can manage. Now, you wanted to talk about the fish. If you don't mind. You see, the chief of the Pocot tribe uh, gets very upset whenever I wander into the jungle by myself. So he decided to send some of his men to look after me. And believe me, it is very difficult for chimpanzees to accept one person, let alone uh, half of the Pocot tribe. So I decided to uh, bribe him to send his men away. I buy $86 worth of fish from his village each month, and in return he lets me uh, be free to do my work. It's a very equitable arrangement. Miss Davenport, the Society's donations have dwindled significantly in the past several years. Therefore, we must be very selective in how we, in turn, donate our money. In order for us to give you another $80,000, we would have to... Mr. Palmer, I must stop you from going on like this. You talk about giving me money and donating. I am not a charity. Miss Davenport, if you please. I do not please. I worked for four years to complete a film you showed on television for a healthy profit. And then you forced me to come to a city I find more barbaric than the most primeval jungle to debate whether or not you should give me the funds that I have earned. I may be out in the cold without your money, but you gentlemen will be out of a job without my research. Have your check first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you. What is the earliest flight you have back to Africa in the morning? Uh, if you go by way of London... I will go by way of anywhere, just to get off the ground before the uh, monster traffic attacks the city. That's impossible. I beg your pardon? The traffic here never sleeps, and its favorite prey is people in a hurry to get to the airport. <laughs> uh, what is the earliest flight? Uh, 745 Global Flight 5. Thank you. Uh, Miss Devport? My name is Douglas Rapelson. Yes? Well, you wrote about me in one of your National Geographic articles. You said that I was the missing link between ape and man and that you hoped I'd be missing again as soon as possible. Oh, yes. The man who teaches great apes to be lesser humans. Miss Devport, I have to talk to you. It's very important. I'm sorry, I'm very tired. And any conversation we had would end up in an argument. Please excuse me. Miss da Davenport, I need your help, please. Or some chimps I love very much are going to die. I've got to get my chimps out of the country. You have an island. Now, I know this is a lot to ask, because I'm one of the people you've been fighting against, but if I could bring them there, just, just on the island, well, I could keep working, and, and, you, and you never know, you might see things differently once you get to meet my chimps and see what they're capable of. Amy, for example... Dr. Rafus. Yeah. I have watched chimps in the wild about to be attacked by a leopard. Chimps I have watched for years and loved, but I couldn't protect them, I couldn't warn them. All I could do was cry for them when they were killed. Why couldn't you warn them? Because I vowed when I went to Africa to never interfere with the natural order of things. Yeah, but the, the men who want to experiment on my chimps are not natural predators. But they are. You have taken your chimps out of Africa. Well, let me take them back. Dr. Rafes, I'm sure you understand that you must not take your chimps back to the wild. No. No, I don't. I, don't. I really don't. They have been tampered with. Changed. You have taught them how to change their diapers, watch television, brush their oh, teeth. I've taught them language. No. You have taught them to be human. Any encounter between them and the wild chimpanzees would be just as detrimental as humans themselves coming into the jungle. But they'll be isolated on the island. I am sorry. I can't help you. Miss Davenport? You know the real difference between us? You cry for chimps. I cry with them. 
Hollywood's most important, talented, glittering, brilliant, beautiful people. Mm, it's nice to have spent an evening with my equals. Uh, Kermit, are we really stars? Well, close enough. May I come in? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, you'll, you'll have to excuse the mess. Uh, living with uh, four chimpanzees gets a little... Uh, uh, anyway, uh, can I eat something? Something to drink? No, no, thank you. I haven't much time. Uh, well, uh, why, why don't we sit down? Dr. Rafelson, I've, uh, I've thought a lot about our conversation this afternoon. Can I ask you something? Sure. If you brought your chimpanzees to Africa, what do you think their chances for survival there would be? Better than would be here. They'd have no idea how to find food. I'd teach them. Could you also teach them what they'd have to fear in the jungle? Miss Davenport, you have to understand, I'm not trying for a chimpanzee version of Born Free. I don't want to release them back into the wild because I know they wouldn't stand a chance there on their own. All I'm asking for is a safe place to bring them where I can continue my work. And, and, and we won't interfere with what you're doing. Um, I'll bring everything I need. I'll keep the chimps isolated on the island. And uh, uh, I promise you, and my word, that the minute the situation here is resolved, we'll leave. Glass of water. She told you that. Yeah, she told me that. All right, I'll, I'll get it. But uh, I'll be right back. Uh, don't go away. This, uh, what would you like as a sign for your name? I, I beg your pardon? Well, there's no set sign for Linda. Although it doesn't mean pretty in Spanish, doesn't it? Amy, this is Linda. What did she say? She said she was uh, going to bed and good night. Davenport, you're the only chance we've got. Help us, please. I don't believe it. Look, they must be kept isolated from mine at all times. Absolutely. And if there is an encounter, yours could be killed. Wild chimpanzees are territorial. Yeah, I know. No, no, you don't know. You, like everyone else, has been brainwashed into thinking that... that chimpanzees are cute and friendly, when in fact they are wild animals. Now, have you stopped to think how it's going to be for them to go back to the place they were born? They were born in Miami. Uh, look, uh, don't worry about anything. I'm, I'm going to take care of it all. I'm going to sell my house to get, so I can get the money to, to take them to Africa. And, and the water... They're just like your chimps. They hate water. They know they'll sink like a stone if they, if they get into water. They won't leave the island, I promise you. All right. But you must cable me the exact time of your arrival. As soon as I know. The, the only other thing is I will need the use of your boat. All right. You won't regret this. I mean, this saving all we, these... Uh, we will see. I collect my mail once a week. Here's the post office box. Okay, now, don't you worry about anything. I worry about everything. Good night. Good night. 
And, uh, and, uh, thanks, thanks very much. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Oh, uh, uh, don't, don't worry, we'll see you soon, and, uh, bye-bye, have a safe flight. <laughs> uh, Walt, it's Ray. Yeah, uh, Walt, she was just here. Uh, Linda Denport. No, 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 she, she, she left already. Walt, she's gonna let me bring the chimps to Africa. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you all about it. Can you get, get here as quick as you can, okay? I'm gonna need a lot of help to pull this thing off. Oh, oh okay, all right, and hurry, okay? Actually, you missed me while I was gone. Last night, I fed with them on roots and berries. I even made a nest near Hercules in the trees. He watched me for the longest time. And then, he actually turned his back on me and fell asleep. Well, I didn't sleep at all last night. I was so excited. They finally trusted me. Thank you. Since I returned from the United States, I haven't been able to get the chimps reared by Dr. Rafelson out of my mind. He treated them as humans. Last night, my chimps treated me as a chimpanzee. I wonder, are we that interchangeable? With just our environments letting us know what kind of animal we really are? <laughs> Getting them off campus was easy. But the plane ride. Half an hour into the flight, the pilot wanted to fake a hijacking man in Cuba kick us off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, well, Amy, why don't you tell me what you think they are? Oh, <laughs> walking trees. <laughs> That's very close, Amy, very close. Aim, look. I'm so Linda. Come quick. Hurry, come quick. This is one. 
wonderful. They're showing such trust. They're finding our food. That's all right. Let them take whatever they want. without letting me know. Well, I, I did. I sent a wire. Imbecile. I should have never let him come. Yes, you did. Uh, I'm Doug Rafelson. Rafe. I am Habibu. This is my wife, Nakalea. How do you do? Nice to meet you. Hey, look, I sent a wire. I really did. God, I really feel bad. Miss Davenport was worried about our coming. I, I don't think we did a whole lot to change her attitude. Minsa, lender like Banya tree. Once it be planted, it not be moved. Well, I've got to move her because I'm innocent. I mean, I sent a wire and I... Who expected Jims to be on the welcoming committee? Can you help me? Is there anything I could say to apologize? Anything I can do? She loved chocolate. You do nothing now. Not good time. Go to Ireland. Try later. All right. Thank you. I mean, I'm sorry if I... Well, that I came in a bad time. Chocolate. I gotta settle this. It's not easy knocking on a tent. What do you want? To apologize. Do you realize how many years it has taken me to gain the trust of those chimpanzees? Yes. And when they finally walk into my camp without fear, what is the first thing they see? Members of their own species on the back of your truck, dressed in clothing and locked in cages. I'm sorry, what can I say? I, I sent a wire, I swear it. Go. Just go to the island. Go. I'd like to resolve this. 
Go to the island with your chimpanzees and do whatever it is that you need to do and then leave after you resolve your situation in the States. Well, that's going to take a long time. Dr. Rafelson, you have caused more damage here in one hour than the poachers did. Hey, look. Now, I'm sorry my timing was so bad. I really am. But I've devoted as much of my life to chimpanzees as you have. And if you weren't so narrow-minded, you'd realize we shouldn't be enemies. Because we got enough enemies out there who don't give a damn whether chimpanzees live or die. You know, you know I'm sorry. I really am. And, and I know I owe you a lot. But I'm not going to be compared to poachers by you or anyone. <laughs> This, this is food, okay? Food. You're going to have to learn to eat this. Amy, it's a root. You like it. It's, it's good. <laughs> okay. Adam, how about you? Okay, okay. All right. Rape will eat it first.
Ooh. Okay. It's lousy. Let's try some of those berries. Careful, that's equipment is very important. Pick these up too. Get them right up in the corner on the spot. Pick these two people up here, right in the center, top of the other small one. Right? Sarah? No, Linda Davenport. What are you doing back here? Shopping. I mean, what are you doing back here in Africa? Oh, I'm leading a photographic safari. As a matter of fact, we may even photograph some chimpanzees. If you so much as set foot near one of my... Now, don't threaten me, lady. I have a permit to go anywhere I wish. Not if I can do something about it. Hello? What's in your truck? Supplies. You want to see them? Uh, uh, uh. Trespassers can be shot. So can poachers. Ah, oh, but I'm a photographer. We'll see what the authorities have to say about that. Waste your time if you like. But I am here legally. Bloody awful paper. Because the men that did it are back. But they put into jail, yes? Yes, and released in less than a year. I burn your favorite. Chocolate? Like Alea, where did you get that? It from a handsome man across the island. He say it gift a piece. Is it now? Did he uh, deliver it himself or send one of his chimpanzees in a pith helmet and short pants to deliver it? You study animal and learn nothing. What? You talk freedom. But put yourself in cage. Let animal that you are come out. Makalea, if I were looking for a man, I wouldn't be here. Besides, I never really cared for the male courting ritual anyway. Ah, but you're eating his chocolate. Take the chimp out of the city, but you can't take the city out of the chimp. I haven't been able to get any of our brood to give up their clothes or begin to concentrate on their studies. All they want to do is play and explore. As for me, all I'd like is a bacon lettuce and tomato sandwich and a truce with Linda Davenport. It gets lonely here. 
and I'm not sure how much longer I can stick it out. Let me know as soon as possible any development with the university's lawsuit against me. Until then, I've got a lot to keep me busy. Especially my efforts with Quake, who still seems to be wary of me. Hello, Quake. Eat, 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 food. Come on, sign it. Food, eat. Good. That's terrific here. Rafe happy. Rafe is very happy. Very happy. Well, Walt, you won't be surprised to hear that Wu is in love again. She saw a wild chimp when we first arrived, and although I've tried to explain that they're from two different worlds, she's determined to be Juliet to his Romeo. And poor Amy is so curious and confused about the mysteries on the other side of the water. Thanks for picking this stuff up for me. Yeah. We needed more over there than I thought. Dr. Rifleson! Dr. Rifleson, hurry! A leopard got him and I can't stop the bleeding. He's barely got a pulse. He's lost a lot of blood. I cover him. Keep him warm. He's gonna die unless he gets a blood transfusion. A transfusion? From whom? One of your chimps? From me. What What are you talking about? Humans and chimps can give each other blood. You can't be serious. I'm absolutely serious. It's a medical fact. But we have no facilities here for testing blood. I'm O negative. I can give blood to any type. What equipment do you need?
banana beer. The first glass tastes like bananas. The second has no taste at all, and uh, you never remember the third. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you something? Sure. Doesn't our trying to save that chimp's life go against your feelings about not interfering with nature? Yes, it does. When I came here six years ago, I thought I could understand what life was all about by analyzing everything I saw. I've been an observer all my life, ever since I was a little girl. Everything passed around me, never through me. I watched and I tried to figure out why things were the way they were. And then I saw chimpanzees. Oh, how I envied them. They were so free. Nothing to think about, just... just living. I blew that fantasy for you, didn't I? Yes. Having conversations with them isn't, isn't like anything you've ever done before. When they tell me what they're thinking and how they feel, and, and, and then I remember that they're another species. Oh, I mean, Amy asks me more questions when I come home late than my ex-wife used to. But don't you think that... No. No, I don't want to start another argument with you. No, no, no. no. Go ahead. It's okay. And say what you want to say. All right. What you're doing, teaching them language, is very good, I admit. But unless chimpanzees are allowed to live like chimpanzees, I mean, free, out in the wild, language is as useless to them as giving them an IQ test. Well, it's a nice philosophy, but you know as well as I do, they'd never survive out here. I know it, but... But, Rafe, whether you intended it or not, they're your pets. Yeah. Well, it may be a moot point anyway. Why? A people brought me a letter this morning from the village, from Walter Neal, a friend of mine. He's been getting a lot of support against what the med school's been trying to do. He says that the university may be pressured into dropping the charges against me. We'll be able to go home. <laughs> stronger. Thank you. Don't mention it. Yeah. I, uh, I love being a hero in front of a woman who might just consider some small reward. <laughs> nothing, nothing too major. Dinner? I'm really getting tired of brutes, berries, and ketchup. <laughs> Almost asleep. Ah, only the um, finest linen. Um, the dictionary or the complete works of William Shakespeare? Huh? You take Shakespeare. It's uh, my most comfortable book. Oh. <laughs> uh, more banana beer? Absolutely. And then, uh, two years ago, a poacher named Louis Serret trapped and slaughtered 35 chimpanzees. Why? To use their glands in a youth serum. Oh, that's so sick. It's a con. 
but a lot of rich, gullible, stupid people paid a fortune for it. He was finally arrested, but uh, he'd made so much money that he bought his way out of it. I saw him three weeks ago with permits to lead a photographic safari. <laughs> it is such a charade. Well, what about the authorities? It's the same here as anywhere else. There's nothing they can do about it until after a crime is committed. <sighs> it's all set. All right, stand by and I'll call you. Okay, you guys, take care of the case. The truck's down this way. Yeah, we need room back in there. Careful with that medical stuff. Be careful, that stuff is very, very important for protection. Move! Hey, Mr. Hoffman, what's the back tomorrow and see how our patient's doing. Oh, be careful. Driving when you're drunk is dangerous. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Pleasant dreams.
got to find them. They'll be killed. They don't know what it's like out there. Neither do you. Ray. Ray. Come back to my tent. We'll dry you off. Habibu will follow them and he'll leave a trail for us. Come on. Rafe. just told me they were going to do this. What do you mean? Oh, Amy's been talking about your wild chimps and what goes on across the water, and Wu hasn't been able to concentrate on anything since she saw your troop's dominant male. Rafe, my chimps would kill them. Yeah, I know. Habibu? Couldn't find it. It's all right. We'll take over from here. Habibu, could you please go to the island and look after the other chimps? Yes. Thanks.
to them and they run. They'll be chased and killed for sure. Yeah, but I gotta do something. But... I've never seen Hercules retreat. Uh, he's never met Solomon before. I think the city folks are buying their way into the good graces of their country cousins. to get it back to the island. Rafe. Yeah. Um, I don't think you should take them back to the island. What's happening out there is more important than what either of us could do separately. Oh, no. Rafe, don't make them your pets forever. Give them a chance to use what you've taught them to live their own lives. Oh, yeah, but I thought that the whole point was to keep them separated. Well, I was wrong. My chimps could teach yours how to survive, how to adapt. If they want to be taught. Well, if not, they'll go back to the island on their own, won't they? You've said that they were your children. Well, every parent has to let go. Well, what about the way my chimps will influence yours? Is it possible that your chimps could teach the others language? I don't know. I've been working with chimps teaching other chimps. I, I don't know if there was a if there was a need. But but let them try. Well, hope they. Uh, at least come to visit every now and then. They expected that net here two days ago. Yeah, it's a bloody big mess you wanted. Take your time, get it made. All right, so when do I get it? A day, no longer. But even once you get it, how can you be sure all those little monkeys will just uh, scamper right through it? Huh? Don't you worry your head about that, Sonny. I've got my technique down to a science. She's signing berries. Berries. I don't think Wu's teaching Hercules sign language yet, but she's definitely teaching him how to kiss.
it out and hidden. All right, a little higher and make sure it falls free. He spotted the chips. Go less than a kilometer away. Good. Get the tranquilizer guns loaded. Right. I think he's gonna make it. Ask the vet to keep him under observation a couple of days, okay? <laughs> Habibu? That's terrific. He want to be able to talk to your chimps. Habibu, Lakalea, thank you for taking care of him. Drive carefully. See you in a few days. You know something? What? I like you as much as a chimpanzee. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. All right, let me know when you're in position. Drop it! 
It's that one again. And there's another one with it. Go on, get after him. trouble use the drugs <laughs> I couldn't find the other two go ahead just give me an excuse all right Siri. get that net up and let them all go Get him out as soon as possible. pay for their dream of youth. The same way they pay for their furs and their ivory jewelry to make them feel good. Animals die either way. You... Sir Ray, if it's only the money you want, I'll pay you more to leave the chips alive. Now, considering the circumstances, I can hardly take your word as collateral, could I? Enjoy yourselves.
on the tree. All right, put it on. To get the graves dug, I don't want any carcasses lying around when we're through here. It's all been taken care of. out in Nairobi prison this time. I'll see to that. Ah, how sweet it is. Have some banana beer. Thank you. I think they're drunk. <laughs> it's okay, they're not driving. Mm. <clears> How'd <throat> Bibu picked up your nail? Oh, it's from Walt. Universities dropped the charges. Chimps and I can go home. How long do you think it'll take before our work here is finished? Ten years. Twenty at least. Or it might even take the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll write Walt and tell him to expect us sometime after that. America. America! Uh -huh. 